So hey, we're finally back, and today we are doing Planet Wisp. As you can see there, we're going to unlock a new one, being the Spike one. Spiky Wisp. And as you can tell, this is the level that also appears in Sonic Generations. Not much to say, it's basically the same stage, just a bit shorter than it actually is in Sonic Generations. I don't know why I just ran into them, I did try to boost, but uh, for whatever reason it wouldn't let me. Yeah, if you come in contact with another wisp, you'll end up swapping with that wisp. Which can be a bit of a nuisance when you just try to get eye up. Alright, whatever. Let's get, let's get our red ring. Maybe a few other rings as well. Uh, yeah, there's also some bad drops in this stage. Not as bad as in the other, in a later world, which we'll get to. In other words, um, after the coaster. But you know, it's still pretty bad. And of course, we get our spin dash back in when we use the spike wisp. And I have a rocket one. I didn't even know I, had, I got that one. Let's see if I can do with this. Yeah! Subscribe for just awesome one. I have another rocket wisp, I don't know why I'm going to use that. Yes, I'll swap for this fight. Oh, like I said, that can be annoying. It's like, my life's right there, I can't get it because you've decided you want to pause for the camera, Sonic. That's wonderful. That's for you. My, that's my useful thing, getting the life. Yeah, can you blame him? I'd probably do the same thing. Let's 
said. As I said, I'm not really that interested in getting the red rings in this one through, but you know, if I can get them, I'll probably just go for them. As I said, I'm still going to show you all the stages anyway, regardless of if I show you get me getting all the red rings in them. What's with that robot? Why is it giving me rings? I can't imagine that's a good idea, Eggman, to actually, you know, provide your enemy with health and power-ups. Now, in case, we are done with this act. See, there's the effect of the red rings going to work. So yeah, on to Act 3. Good, that's very good. Now this can be one of the worst acts in this um, world. Trust me, it can be a downright irritant. It's short if you can do it right, but it can also be very, very awkward. It can be a very awkward level. Specifically one part which we're going to come to. Okay, this is the part. These two you can do with little trouble. This is the part that messes you up. Hmm. Now let's see if I can do this. Yes! That that jump part there can be very, very awkward, trust me, when I say that. It is easy for you to die because that one block there will put you off. And of course it doesn't help that these platforms are so tiny. But we did it. Sweet. So 
to Act 4. I love this music, but then again, I love all the I love all the music in this game. I don't think there's one track which I've just like thought, nah. It's like alright, and not that good. Now I think all the music's good. But it's, don't know what's going on here. I have to be careful. I'll, I'll fall to my death again because I'm kind of wobbly for some reason. This is another one with falls. As you, if any of you've watched my other walkthroughs or even said this from the start, you know I hate you know I hate pit, pitfalls. I hate falls more than anything in the game. If there's any level that encourages them, yeah, I just downright detest. <sighs> Wasn't expecting a hit to hit me. I'm actually waiting for there it is, that's what I'm waiting for. And I missed it. It's terrible. Yeah, I also know I'm also aware there's something else up here, but I really don't care for it myself. Yeah, I know it's a life, but like I may I may don't mind. It's not like I'm doing bad with them anyway. Felt my death there. Need to be quick with the trigger. Yeah, I'm not dying now, pal. That's the end of Act 4. Yes, it can usually get lads at the end of these things as long as it doesn't pause before you get up. shooting out of those generators. If it was, I would get one for back home. Dude, I'd get two. Now, if everyone will excuse me, I'm going to put a stop to these renovations. Oh, 
Guys, you have to be careful here or you're gonna fall to death. Yeah, like I said, I really want to do this soon because, and maybe some other walkthroughs because, well, you know, I'll be getting Sonic Lost World. I will do a walkthrough of that game for anyone that's interested. You know, just keep an eye on my channel if you're a Sonic fan. Or unless you don't want any spoilers, then don't watch. It's up to you. Just don't complain to me about if you get if the thing gets ball for you because hey that it was your decision to go on this, not mine. I didn't force you onto it. Anyway, let's keep going. Hell, it will be not useful if we had the hover. I don't know if it's down there or not. Okay, so that's nice, but try not to arming attack everything you see. Oh boy, that was close. Yeah, the homing attack, it's its a nice attack and everything I can really add to the um, game, but at times it can almost get you killed. Because sometimes Sonic just has to homing attack, it, it doesn't matter. And of course the reach has been extended quite a distance in this game, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it can be a bit off fun.
So we've just got one more act left before our big boss fight. And there's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. For a fact, these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember, all planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you! Eggman! I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens! No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! <sighs> you try to be reasonable... Okay, my bad, so we are at the boss fight, and I've just gotta say, I love that line. That's gonna be like one of the best lines I've had in a video game ever. Yeah, yeah, Tails, I don't know, it's basically the same boss we fought earlier. Took a bit longer than I expect off Chris too, but whatever, it's weird then. <coughs> excuse excuse me. who can't hear you? Uh, maybe. That's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Absolutely. So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> well, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touché. 